watching our YouTube channel. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you guys a, a new, happy new year. 2014 uh, is a new year, and uh, this year 2014 uh, is a very it's going to be the very exciting years for us. It's because uh, this year um, we're going to launch a lot of new products, and uh, and this new products going to be uh, you know going to make the industry even go further. So that's why this uh, first video actually I want to talk about is actually is uh, regarding uh, battery. Alright, so uh, this will be divided into uh, three parts, uh, part one, part two and part three. And I will take a bit time to go to each uh, different kind of battery uh, for a solar system. Yeah. So um, first of all, what we're going to talk about is uh, roughly about a battery in solar system. Yeah. Let's say um, today you go and buy an off-grid solar system, um, which is in other words standalone solar system. Uh, you will find out actually the cost for the battery is almost like uh, fifty percent of an off-grid solar system. For instance, let's say if you spend one thousand ringgit uh, for a solar system, uh, you can in other words say that almost fifty percent uh, the cost. Is in the battery. Like for example, if you spend a one thousand ringgit solar system, uh, battery is almost covering about uh, fifty percent of the cost, which is like roughly about five hundred ringgit. So because of that, uh, we really need to make sure that battery that we are using is you know is uh, durable and so that uh, we can get a very good uh, return on investment in your uh, solar system. All right. But let's say if the battery doesn't last long, uh, definitely the solar system will be uh, become very costly. Yeah. So um, there are many type of battery available uh, for solar system. Today, the first one I want to touch is actually is a silicon AC battery uh, under the AG, AGM type. Uh, AGM stands for exot grass mat. Okay. Um, normally, when a beginner uh, for a solar system uh, approach us, uh, or you never do done solar power before, we always uh, recommend uh, the customer to use a uh, AGM type uh, silicon AC battery. This is because it's maintenance free. Um, you do not need to add battery water, um, and it's just install and use, and then end of the you know. Shell life, uh, then you just need to change it. Yeah, normally uh, this kind of battery uh, is very easy to use. Uh, pricing is uh, at this day is quite affordable now, um, but uh, the user must know how to use the battery. Yeah, so most of the time uh, people will ask the question: um, If I'm using this AGM battery, um, how long is it gonna last for this uh, kind of battery? Uh, this kind of question is pretty much very hard to uh, answer. Uh, is because uh, it depends on your depth of cycle. All right, we call it DOD depth of cycle. Let's say if you cycle, let's say around twenty percent to thirty percent, uh, normally you will last about two to three years. But let's say if you cycle more than fifty percent, uh, definitely the life will be short. But let's say if you go and cycle too deep, like some people thought this kind of battery is a deep cycle battery, but actually it's not. Let's say your cycle is too deep, let's say more than eighty percent, the battery basically is going to be spoiled. Yeah, when you cycle too deep, um, the sulfur will build up, things like that, and cause it to dissolve. Uh, I mean, sulfur crystal build up inside the battery pack, and it will uh, destroy uh, the battery. Yeah. Um, some also ask for a solar system. Uh, what is the difference between the car battery and the solar battery or all kind of battery? Yeah, um, maybe I need to touch a bit on here. Um, can I mean the, the most question people will ask is can a car battery use uh, for a solar system? The answer is yes. If you want to use a uh, car battery for solar, uh, yes, you can you you can do that. But the question is how long would it last? I mean how how often you need to change? Yeah, normally from based on our experience, let's say you're using the car battery, uh, normally it will take about six months to nine months. Uh, the battery need to be uh, replaced. The main reason is that because a car battery is actually is not designed uh, designed for uh, cyclic use. We call it 
Yeah, and then uh, most of the car battery actually, if you open up a car battery, uh, you will find that inside the plate, the battery plate, is actually a very large size and only few of them. The purpose of that large size uh, battery pack is actually to give you higher M so that uh, you can uh, start your car engine. And after that, the alternator from the car will charge back uh, the, uh, the battery. But if you compare to um, SLA or AGM type uh, battery, just like this one, uh, you will find out the plate, the battery plate is smaller, okay? And a lot of it, all right? So, but like this guy, you probably will have about uh, 20 plate. The reason is because they need to, the power output is not, I mean, the, the M output is not that big, but it can be constant, uh, give you output for uh, 24 hours and or longer. So that's why the design itself is different. Once the battery design is different, the performance wise is different. So I would say that car battery uh, basically is used to start or crank, uh, crank up your engine. But uh, SLA AGM type, a solar battery, they mo mostly are designed for a long continuous use of power. That's why they are more suitable uh, using for solar system. And of course, they are last longer, normally two to three years, yeah? To answer the question, how long would uh, this kind of battery last is always uh, depend on the dip of cycle, DOD, as I mentioned uh, just now. Um, any battery, any brand, uh, let's say it's SLA, AGM type, normally if you want to buy the battery, either from us or either from other company, uh, the first thing first, you always need to ask for a data sheet uh, of the battery life, for example. Uh, this is the 100 AH uh, SLA uh, sorry, uh, AGM type battery. Okay, uh, this is one of the uh, data sheet that I have. So basically, um, when you manage to get uh, the data sheet, the first thing you always look at is the uh, depth of discharge, uh, D or D. Yeah. So for example, if I can show it clearly to you, uh, hopefully you can see that. All right. So basically, you can see it depends on how uh, depth the cycle here. Okay, you see the the x axis is number of cycle, and then the uh, the y axis is the capacity. Yeah. So when you see the graph, let's say for example, uh, you are cycling the battery for twenty percent. That means uh, just a bit twenty percent. Uh, let's say this one is hundred ah battery. You only use a twenty ah and left the 80 AH uh, unused and then uh, charge it back. Okay, uh, roughly you can use about 1004 cycle. Yeah, 1000, let's say one day, one cycle. So probably you can, you know, get a few years uh, on, on, on this battery. But let's say if you uh, be more aggressive, uh, you cycle roughly about 40% uh, uh, of the battery. Okay, that means 100 AH, uh, you already use up. 40 AH and uh, sorry, and then you have a 60 uh, AH available, and it's probably uh, let you to do about 500 cycle. 500 cycle is always something like um, a year plus, yeah, one day one cycle. And let's say if you cycle uh, until the solar charge controller to cut it off, uh, 80 percent, yeah, uh, DOD and uh, only 20% left, 80% uh, DOD, uh, you will find out uh, if roughly about 100, 100 plus like that, so of, of cycle, basically you are talking about um, about a year or maybe less, all right, on this battery. But somehow uh, this kind of chart uh, or data sheet look nice. Uh, on the paper, why, why I say that on the paper is not realistic, in, especially in the uh, solar system, is because uh, every battery manufacturer they will come with a data sheet, data sheet like this. They always will stand uh, here. You have to watch, uh, read it carefully. Is at twenty five C. Okay, this battery uh, is used in the condition in the ambient temperature of, uh, in other words, the room temperature of twenty five C. All right, 25 Celsius. Uh, in Malaysia perspective, uh, basically is uh, is in an aircon uh, condition, yeah, in an aircon condition, in way somewhere, whereby it's quite cooling, uh, for Malaysia uh, temperature kind of perspective. All right, 
But let's say if you are in the solar application, normally it's always outdoor, uh, and always you will not able to achieve uh, 25C uh, kind of uh, embryo temperature. Most of the time, uh, if you, the solar system in Malaysia, uh, because it's a hot climate, uh, if you have roughly the best you can do is around 30 to uh, 35. Okay, but when let's say is 30 to 35, or maybe let's take a, a perspective of a 35, which is 10 Celsius different uh, from this data sheet, you need to cut the battery light in, uh, in half. Why? Because is when the temperature is higher, the chemical reaction inside the battery are more active. In other words, it age faster. All right. So let's say if you go back to the same data sheet, okay. Uh, you need to take a perspective in whereby you need to uh, assume, uh, let's say if I'm doing a DOD of 20%, okay, it roughly give me uh, about 1,004 cycle, but let's say my temperature is roughly about um, 35, 25 from 35, about 10 Celsius different, you need to cut it to half. In a half is mean, that means 1,004 cycle here, uh, when the temperature is more than 10%, uh, 10, 10 Celsius above uh, the data sheet, basically you only can get about 700 cycle. Alright, 700 cycle is equivalent uh, uh, roughly about two years. Alright, so let's say you are using this kind of uh, SLA uh, AGM type of battery in the temperature where you install your battery is roughly about 35 C. Okay, instead of 25 C, 35 C, which is 10 Celsius different. Your battery life is supposed to be getting about 1,004 cycle, but you need to cut it into half because of the, uh, the higher temperature of uh, 10 Celsius, you will become 700. Yeah? Instead of you can use the battery for 4 years, it becomes 2 years, because, just because of the temperature, uh, higher temperature. Yeah? So using a solar system, um, the perspective about the battery, how long it will last, is always look at a few things. One thing is about the DOD, okay, depth of discharge. Second thing is about the temperature. And the third thing is about how well you maintain it. Maintaining it always depends on uh, whether you charge it full, okay, uh, how do you discharge it, and whether you use a desulfator to repair the battery, yeah. So in solar power, Ma, basically, we have the technology. Uh, for example, we have the good charge called solar controller, the gamma charge controller, all right, to charge the battery. And we also have a uh, 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 professional use kind of desulfator like this, um, just to uh, repair the battery. Let's say if the battery is badly damaged or badly discharged or not charged well because of the sulfate uh, crystal build up in the battery pad, uh, battery pad, so that you can uh, repair it uh, with a desulfator. Yeah, we also have the gamma four in one. Uh, uh, charger basically is designed to de uh, charge uh, all kind of battery from seal to gel to flood and lastly to lithium. Yeah, this this one is a sophisticated charger. Um, you can charge all kind of battery and it uh, is very good. Is let's say if in the emergency case, let's say uh, the sun doesn't come out, especially in the November or. Uh, 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 December kind of rainy season, uh, your battery, your solar system unable to charge it back. So emergency, you, you take back your battery to somewhere whereby there you have the power or a genset uh, plug into this uh, four in one uh, gamma charger to charge it back. Yeah. So based on these three things, this, this few thing, uh, that's how long the battery will last. Okay. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the part, that is the solar system, one solar system, off grid solar system, fifty percent roughly is about the uh, battery cost. So because of that, um, we need to really uh, focus on the battery now, rather than just the solar system or the controller. Because you you know, those of you who have been using solar, you know that um, the solar panel come with warranty for 25 years, and as well as the uh, controller come with extensive uh, warranty about two years to five years. So all these two components, it won't fail. Hardly will fail. Yeah. So um, but. The battery itself, you always need to change every two to three years. So, when you take, let's say for example, you look at this battery, it's roughly, you, you can go to ScoreMark, uh, www.scomrt, to look at this uh, battery price, battery price for this uh, SLA 
AGM type com, uh, uh, a battery and you see how much you're going to spend on this battery and how much you want to do the cycle and put in the temperature effect and you roughly will know uh, let's say like this case of 20% DOD in the temperature of 35 C uh, you're going to spend this amount of money and you only can last about two years and you divide it then per day is how much actually you spend on the battery yeah based on that kind of calculation uh, then you have uh, better expectation of your solar system whether it's going to give you a uh, good return on investment or maybe it's not yeah uh, this is the first thing all right and the last thing is always uh, you you need to do some maintenance uh, on your battery once one one you uh, use it yeah so this uh, will be the part one of this uh, SL uh, battery then later on we'll talk about part two yeah all right thanks for watching